Welcome back, folks. We're in the Native Son kitchen for our Food for Thought segment. And Native Son owner Aaron Gottlieb is joining us for some Food for Thought. And today we're going to talk about fermented foods. You might already be eating them, but do you know how healthy they are? So, I, and sometimes you think you do, but maybe you don't. So, Aaron, let's start with yogurt. Okay. And let's talk probiotics. Well, we all know most familiar with probiotics that you'll find in yogurt, and it's usually acidophilus and bifidus. Sure. Uh, they're the most common uh, bacteria, and they're really uh, the main bacteria in our gut that sets our gut immune system. And so when you have uh, introduction of other bacteria like E. coli or salmonella in small amounts, if your gut is healthy with good bacteria, then you aren't as likely to get sick or deal with the symptoms as badly. Oh, that's good. So it's Acid an immunity. Yes. Acidophilus and what was it? Bifidus. Bifidus? Yep. They sound like Sesame Street characters. They certainly do. <laughs> they but actually, do. <laughs> they each have unique homes. One lives in the small intestine and one lives in the large intestine okay. where they're dominant. Uh, and they are what keeps our bodies healthy. All right, fermented foods. Uh, I got a little bit of uh, history with fermented foods, but mostly beer. Yeah. And so beer is fermented. So are you telling me like this, this lovely hop banshee right here from Veterans United? I love, love you guys. Love you too. Uh, I can put that in my yogurt? No. Uh, I mean, you I know, could. it, it, it would be gonna... great, but unfortunately, hops when in the making when you use yeast to make beer, yeah. um, during the fermentation process, uh, hops create an acid that kill any good bacteria that could possibly survive. So there is studies going on right now to find which good bacteria that are beneficial to our bodies can withstand hops acid uh, in Singapore right now. So hopefully we'll find in the near future men will be able to get their uh, beers at the end of I their days with their acidophilus. I can't. Uh, they want their savory foods. I don't like too many hops in my beer, but I can't drink beer without hops. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah. Can you right, taste so the difference? No well, let's, can you taste the difference? Can you taste the difference in that? In hops sure. In oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, we'll do another segment on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. So, next. well, let's talk about the stuff we got here and how people, because one of the things is people say probiotics. Okay, just put probiotics in. However, it's not just one type. Like, right. If you want certain benefits, you need to do certain types, right? Different foods, naturally, when they ferment, have different bacteria, good bacteria that will grow on them. So sauerkraut has certain bacteria um, that come out of lactic acid fermentation. We all know about sriracha, which the bacteria in that are used to make supplements for um, certain uh, for, for stress supplements in the body. Okay. What I, what's tricky is is knowing when you're buying a pickle, like this is a local pickle from all of my pickle. All of my pickle. Uh, and they use good probiotics and let them naturally ferment. Whereas when you buy a pickle from a grocery store, they use vinegar. So if you turn it around and there's vinegar in it, they're mimicking the taste but not giving you the health benefits you get out of it. Because the so, vinegar is a and kills yes. the healthy... Yes. Well, it actually never starts the process going where you're able to feed off of the carbohydrates and the sugar, the good bacteria. All right. So the good news is, is bacteria isn't just for the gut. Uh, they're also doing studies on how it affects our mind and the fact that it uh, can change how our genetic markers turn on and off and whether you're depressed or happy can be determined by the bacteria on your body. Nice. That's so, good yeah. stuff. I like that. All right. Well, so, but Aaron, what about, I mean, these fermented foods, they typically the taste of them are always not as good. Well, you know, fermented foods are kind of like licorice. People either love it or, or hate they it. hate it. And exactly. those who love it can't get enough. I love it because I love the sour yeah, sauerkraut and the yogurts. And I like that, but some people don't really like the flavor. So what we've done is, is we have these foods that are for the diehards who are the licorice lovers or the probiotics lovers, and they mm -hmm. like that fermented flavor. But a lot of people, I, I really try to encourage to start with yogurt and think outside the box. So what we did today is that we put together a couple of recipes that will be easy, savory, and sweet because a lot of people don't think of yogurt as a meal because they're not thinking savory. Mm -hmm. So what I did today is I put together a Mediterranean yogurt over here that's got probiotic olives uh, that it. are from Greece um, mm -hmm. that are called Alive and Well olives and six okay. olives are the equivalent of one cup of yogurt. So you're getting a double dose of your probiotics through okay. this product. Plus okay. I added some lemon juice, olive oil, hummus and garbanzo beans. Um, so it's a whole meal um, in a cup and it's delicious. And so Great idea. then for the kids, we did a peanut butter and jelly cup where we cut up fresh grapes, fresh peanuts. Uh, you can use almonds if there's Love allergens it. in the house um, and make a quick meal with peanut butter and jelly. Uh, and then we had Curtis Love that. was gonna put together and then I got our this last one, dish today. Because that's the thing is what's interesting. Most people grab a plain yogurt and they're like, oh, I'm gonna put some strawberries in it or bananas or whatever. We got avocados, we got fresh jalapeno, we got pineapple, cilantro, lime, sriracha, 
This, all this goes in here? It's a powerhouse for probiotics all because right. we've got the yogurt. And again, the sriracha that we carry in our stores is a probiotic sriracha. Um, you can find this around town, but it's, it's a newer product. And what they've done is they've taken kimchi, ground it up uh, with jalapenos. And so it's already fermented and it makes an outstanding hot sauce. So I should use the chips to dip, right? That's why I got them. Oh, this is so that's good. That's a meal I put and a, lot a little. Of pineapple I there. love that. I think Here's that's such a great idea. Nice yeah, five snack. minutes and you've got uh, two types of probiotics in one. Very cool. Change up your yogurt, folks. Good stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's good yeah, stuff. Thanks. I got I got jalapenos in my yogurt. All right. We want to thank Native Sun for sponsoring this segment and this food for thought segment in the Native Sun Kitchen. Locations: Bay Meadows, Mandarin, and Jack's Beach. You can check them out there and their website: NativeSunJacks.com.